for the state of affairs that uh, the economy that we are witnessing today where our GDP has gone and in this background it is very important that global trade and industrialization needs a major boost. Sir, I'm here. Needs a major boost. Sir, in this regard, what I would like to ask the Honourable Minister is that which are the specific industry and trade sector that you are focusing on to increase the global trade and how are you going to uh, strengthen the SME sector so that they also play a major role in boosting up uh, the global trade and most importantly, sir, how are you going to identify backward regions and what are you going to do to identify those backward regions, say for instance regions like Marathwada, where you can identify those regions, strengthen them and support them so that they too also can participate uh, in the global trade. Honorable Speaker, sir, since the original question related to the high level advisory group, I'll start with the fact that this was a group which was constituted of very high level experts. Dr. Surjit Bhalla is an eminent economist, our present foreign minister, Dr. Jay Shankar, several people from the legal field, from industry associations, small scale and medium scale representatives, and they've come out with a series of suggestions. And the important thing to note is that every nation has some competitive and comparative strengths. That's the original Michael Porter theory. That you cannot do everything yourself. There are certain areas where you have strength. As a nation, you are competitive and you are able to reach out. Gem and jewelry is one sector. There's another question further about it. Where India has competitive strength, we've been able to do very well. Footwear is an area we've been able to do very well. This, uh, handicrafts is another area, small and medium enterprises, micro and tiny units have done very well. So government is continuously engaged in assessing in this report also, several sectors have been specifically identified on which the report has given vertical suggestions, textiles for example, pharmaceuticals, garments, electronics is a thrust area which is providing jobs to a lot of people after Honorable uh, uh, Minister of IT has given a thrust to domestic manufacturing of electronic products. Medical devices is going to be an area of the future. Because of Ayushman Bharat, now that more and more people are getting uh, medical free medical care, medical electronics. we are going to make sure that medical devices and along with that medical electronics comes to India. So obviously every nation determines which are the areas of strength. We are focusing on those areas of strength. Government is continuously engaging with stakeholders, with domestic industry, understanding what are their pain points. And while on the one hand, we are ensuring that this nation cleans up all the old issues about bad loans in the banks, when we clear up all the old problems, all the accumulated problems, we are also preparing the nation to work with regional value chains, global value chains, engage with the world on equal and reciprocal terms. I can assure the members of the House through you, sir, the government is very conscious that India will have to expand its export basket. The HLAG has given very good suggestions for the country as a whole and for specific sectors, how we can double our exports, and the government is taking action on each one of those suggestions. Case in point being the income tax rates, which the uh, committee had suggested, should be brought down to 18%. I am happy to share with you that the government has brought down the rate to 15% instead of 18% for new domestic manufacturing that is set up. So government is very conscious and continuously working for a better future for our MSME and domestic sectors. Sir, my, my question to the Honourable Minister is, how are you going to deal with the tough competition that is coming from China? Sir, when our reform process started, smaller Far East countries, say for instance Thailand, Bangladesh, Vietnam, they were nowhere in the race. But even now we are facing a tough competition from these Far East countries. So what is it that the government is doing? You said you have lowered down the uh, tax rates. But now the, with the state of economic that we are passing through, is the government considering further lowering of taxes or at least the industry wants to know, are you spending on infrastructure as much as the government had promised?